Enjoy the show. One, two, three. Yippee. Yay. Francis Ford Coppola's Megalopolis is an ambitious drama with too many themes to offer, be it futurist sci-fi or political satire. With multiple themes and a stacked ensemble cast, the ending of Megalopolis offers a lot to think about. Today at Screen Rant, we break down the ending of Coppola's divisive passion project. In many ways, Megalopolis is the story of one man's journey from being a gifted Nobel Prize winning architect to turning into a leader of the people. This man is Adam Driver's Caesar Catalina. Living in the retro-futuristic city of New Rome, Caesar draws plans for Megalopolis, a new utopian city that he can build with the revolutionary building material Megalon. But after his envious cousin Claudio tries to assassinate him and drive the public attitude against him, Caesar still strikes back. Despite getting shot in the face by Claudio's assassin, Caesar can rebuild his face with Megalon. Meanwhile, Coppola's screenplay seems to take a jab at the 2021 Capitol Hill riots as Polker's extremist political followers attempt to storm Megalopolis in the mayor's city hall. But Caesar wins over the rioters with a moving speech where he expresses his desire to create a better future. This is a major moment in Caesar's arc as throughout the film, we see him as a reserved scientific genius. But after the speech, Caesar becomes the voice of the people, also winning the respect of his former enemy and now father-in-law, Mayor Franklin Cicero. Caesar's cousin Claudio and the ambitious socialite Wow Platinum join forces to seize the businesses of Wow's husband Hamilton Crassus II and control New Rome. Wow's aging husband figures out this ploy and hides a small bow and arrow under his bedsheets. In a surprise attack, he kills Wow and injures Claudio before Claudio's own supporters kill him. Shia LaBeouf's Claudio is a satirical take on false prophets, leaders who capitalize on the working class's feelings but for their own personal ambitions. Despite yelling, Power the people! Claudio was mobilizing the oppressed classes of New Rome just for his own rise to power. When Caesar's speech helps the public look at peaceful solutions instead of rioting and anarchy, the tables turn on Claudio and his own supporters hang him upside down. In the end, Megalopolis has a straightforward conclusion with morally righteous characters like Caesar enjoying a happy life while the cunning ones like Claudio getting the fate they deserve. But while celebrating the joys of a futuristic city, Coppola's screenplay also pokes fun at the capitalists funding this city. With Hamilton Crassus still alive, he provides funding for Caesar's vision while also remarking that he would be fondly remembered as a sympathetic figure in the future. We can even see a statue of Hamilton being made, summing up Megalopolis's comparisons between modern America and ancient Rome. Both societies are driven by innovators like Caesar, but also self-obsessed capitalists like Hamilton. Megalopolis's ending is bittersweet in this sense, offering a message for a better future, while also pointing fingers at the flawed people in power. As can be seen from the negative reviews and reactions, Megalopolis might not be Francis Ford Coppola's best work, but its ending proves that this 2024 epic is still one of his most ambitious projects. Stay tuned to Screen Rant for more updates on your favorite movies and shows.